What's going on everybody? Welcome back to droidlife.com. I'm going to whip through a tutorial today on how to go from Cyanogen 5.0.5 to the new Black Droid 8.1.1. Um, you can now do this through the ROM manager, making it much easier to do. Um, and so we're just going to show you really quickly how you do that. Uh, first thing we want to make sure we do though is uh, go into set CPU. And you see this box right here it says set on boot. Make sure we go ahead and uncheck that. These are all recommendations from Black Droid himself. So make sure you set that. Um, next thing we, we have to do is, and we'll post links to this, is download the uh, Ultimate Droid 8.1.1, which has been released. Uh, there'll be links to that at the blog, which is droid-life.com. Uh, what we're going to do is install the uh, update.zip of that version of that ROM, and then we're going to drop it on our SD card. So if we go into... Uh, if you go into Astro, the root of your SD card means you're at slash SD card, basically. Okay, so um, the file will look like this. It'll say Ultimate Droid 8.1.1 update. That's your update.zip. Don't extract any files from that. Just drop the .zip file right on your root. Okay, next thing we do then is I'm recommending that you get rid of every single widget that you have on here. Um, the first time I ran through this, I actually ran into a uh, force close issue. Um, so uh, I want to make sure we do this correctly and not run into any more issues. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove all these. Um, cool thing about doing this through ROM Manager, for those of you wondering why I'm showing you this, is it's much easier since you're going from a 2.1 build to another 2.1 build. They're both ESE 53s. Okay, all widgets gone. And you don't have to wipe data and cache and all that stuff. Um, everything pretty much happens, you know, like it should um, if you were just flashing from an old ROM to an old ROM. It's, it's really simple now. So uh, now we have to go into uh, ROM Manager. <clears throat> and ROM Manager is little clockwork looking guy. So go in there and uh, you may have to update to the newest ROM Manager. And you also will probably have to flash to the newest SP Recovery. And as you can see, I am not on it. It's 1770, and we're supposed to be on 1771. So, and it tells me there's an update. So if I hit OK, and then I hit Flash Clockwork, it should give me the new one. Pick Motorola Droid there. You can see it working up top. So if you get an update to Flash New Clockwork Recovery, make sure you do that. And for whatever reason, my phone seems to lock up during this process, or at least the application does, but last couple times it's been fine if it does that just hit home go back into it, and it usually shows that it's installed okay flash clockwork um just fine there okay so the next thing we really have to do then is just go install rom from sd card because we already dropped that ultimate droid zip right in the root of our sd card okay so when you hit that it brings you up basically to the root and we're just going to scroll down and look for that ultimate droid 811 and if you tap on that you get these two options backup existing rom wipe data and cache I actually already have a backup, so I'm not going to do it, but I recommend that you probably should do backup. Wipe data and cache, we don't have to do because we're going from ESC 53 2.1 ROM to another one. So I'm actually going to skip those. I recommend that you probably at least do that top one. And anyway, all we do is hit OK, and that should reboot the phone. And there it goes. Okay, so this is going to boot up into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So nice thing again. Since we're doing this in ROM Manager, we don't have to use switch between SP Recovery and Clockwork Mod Recovery. We basically can just, you know, do it all in just a couple of steps, really. So it's sort of a nice option to have now if you are undecided on which ROM you really want to use. Okay, so we're installing. You can see right there it says installing. Uh, last time I did this, the status bar didn't necessarily start running through. It sat here. I thought it was actually locked up. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, bam, it just went through and everything was fine. So if you get this and you're not seeing the status bar moving along, just chill out and let it kind of work its magic. Um, it seemed to work for me the last time. So we're just going to sit here with it rolling just like this. And there we go. See that? So it took a little while. That status bar doesn't doesn't you know show that it's working, but it is actually working. Okay, so the phone's gonna reboot again, and this time it should boot up with Black Droid running.
All right, so there we go. You can see the uh, Ultimate Droid by Black Droid version 8 starts popping up there, boot screen. So that means we've definitely installed Black Droid, Ultimate Droid version 8. And uh, first time I did this as well, it took actually quite a bit of time. It sat here for, well, I think, almost two minutes. So uh, just be patient with it. You don't have to do a battery pull. Just seriously let it go and go. And you'll feel that little vibrate down here. That means you've you've done it correctly and then it'll boot up right after that so just hang tight all right so i felt that little tiny vibrate which means we should boot up any second now and i know i fast forwarded through that but it did take another you know like two minutes almost for it to boot up first time so like i said just be patient set your phone down and walk away and this should boot up and sure enough it does okay so this comes stock with a uh one or th sorry thousand megahertz uh overclock kernel okay the first time we pull this up it asked you to choose which launcher you want first time i did this i chose helix launcher 2 and when i loaded my app drawer the first time it rebooted the phone i mean first time so i'm kind of being weary of that right now and then when I also i loaded launcher 2 i got into a forced close loop so i don't know if i did something wrong or what but i'm following every single direction that is anywhere on the planet. Okay, so for me, I'm gonna go ahead and choose just the basic home launcher for now until I get in here. And then if I wanna start tweaking some stuff, I will go ahead and do that at that time. So um, let that load up. And as you can see, it essentially, um, if we go into, uh, actually set CPU is not on there right now. Um, I will show you really quick. Um, if you want to go back, let's say you know you don't want this anymore, you can go back in and go back into ROM Manager, and you can just go through the exact same process we just went to. It says there's an update available for Clockwork Mod Recovery. Even though we just flashed this, we'll flash it again. That should only take just a couple of seconds. and there it goes and then if you want to um, go ahead and hit remember and allow and, and now if you want to go ahead and you know move back to cyanogen we just go through that same process where you you've got seeing it froze up there so if I click home and then I go back in there it should say flashed correctly and it does okay but now if you want to download or if you want to put cyanogen on there again you can either do download and it'll download that entire cyanogen cyanogen 3 files and you can reinstall it that way or since you probably already have it downloaded you can just go install from SD card and find it that way and basically run the same process we just went through so that's pretty much it um, I'm gonna play with black Troy for just a little bit longer um, test out some of the other launchers if anybody has issues with launchers make sure to post those at the blog and uh, let me know what you guys think of the new black droid 8.1.1 and we're out peace droidlife.com